I always like to start with, you have the seeds that grow the tree, that bear the fruit, that will nourish nations for generations. And um, what that means is everyone has potential to grow. So No Graves came about. I was at a crossroads. I started doing music and then eventually I came to this place where I started doing like completely other career. So I would have to go and do shows and then I'll have to go and do my makeup. But I didn't have the money to go and pay somebody to do it, so I had to learn how to do it myself. After a while, people were like, oh my gosh, your makeup's so nice, can you do mine? And I was like, okay, you know, I like doing makeup, it's fun, you know? So that turned into a 12-year career. 12 years I was doing makeup, and with every passing year, my music kept getting further and further away from me. It started making me think that my music wasn't important. It didn't mean anything to anyone. It wasn't useful for me. It wasn't getting me anywhere. So I liked makeup, you know, but it wasn't in my heart. It was like a career. It was just something I did on the side. It was something for my music to grow. I started thinking like maybe makeup is what my job is supposed to be and maybe I need to stop doing music. It's hard when you're not heard or seen, you know, when you feel like that anyway. So I went to see one of my good friends, Samo, he was doing a show down in LA and I went out there. What he was doing was doing these small tours in intimate settings. So he would go to somebody's house and do a show for 20 people, 25 people, 30 people. But the way he performed made you think that he was in a stadium. It made me think like, I can do that. I have everything I need. I don't need a large stage. I don't need a whole bunch of people coming to see me sing or whatever. Just take it inch by inch if I have to. So I was driving home on the grapevine in LA. It's like this long, lengthy, windy road. I had to have like a serious talk with God about what I was gonna do next. There is no death surrounding anything that you do. Then I got to, there's no graves, you know, there's no death. Like these things will keep me alive. These things can keep somebody else alive. And as long as I have these things inside of me, I won't bury them, but I'll plant them so they can grow. <laughs> 